Welcome back. It's 98 Rock TV. Our first guest joining us today, DJ KJ. How are you doing today, love? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. You wear a couple of different hats, not just a DJ, performing in Las Vegas, performing in Ocean City. They're essentially sister cities, if you've ever been to one. <laughs> uh, also, Playboy model. Yeah, that's my past life. I'm trying to get, trying to move on from that, but it's it'll always be attached to me, marketing wise okay. and stuff like that. So, so you're one but of the DJing success is, stories out of that magazine because you always, you always read about you know people in Playboy like I'd love to grow up to be a, an archaeologist. I'm like, no, you're probably gonna end up at a Tasty Freeze. <laughs> but you <laughs> yeah, actually no. were able to move on and take your fame from that and become a really well uh, well renowned DJ. Yeah, it, it was a jump start to my career. It wasn't my that wasn't what my career was. That was what helped me get to where I wanted to go, which passion is music so it just helps you know push it further and makes me more I guess uh, more well known get my name out there more and you know to attach that to it so how long have you known you wanted to DJ um, I've always had a passion for music and I've always had an interest in it it was just finding the right resources to kind of get in the game and to learn and you you're know you're one of the only process. female DJs at least in this area it's it's like a male dominated industry mm -hmm. so how how is that is it more difficult is it better for gigs um, how does it work in, I guess, in the DJ world, it's difficult because you have to prove yourself more. You know, you're a female and they think, oh, you're not doing it or you can't do it or you're not as good. So it helps me strive to do really good and to, you know, successfully, you know, succeed at it. But in the just normal world, it's like it's a hot, you know, it's an in-demand thing. So, you know, everybody wants you to DJ because it's something different than what they're used to having. So it's kind of like a catch-22. Now, one of the big uh, trends in club music right now and in DJing is dubstep. Do you spin any of that? I do. I'm considered more of an open format DJ, so okay. I do spin a little bit of everything. I don't focus too much on one genre. Because dubstep sucks. <laughs> it's bad. Unlistenable. <laughs> it's it's cool. I mean, certain crowds really go for it, but again, like... Called druggies. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the, my angle on things is if I play a little bit of everything, I'm bound to hit each person in the crowd. So you do a little Wu-Tang, you do a little Hall & Oates, you do a little Enya, and you don't do any Skrillex. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, usually one Skrillex song fits in there somehow. So you travel a lot, too. You I don't just do. DJ around, you know, the DMV. You actually hit coast to coast. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I, that's my, the majority of my gigs are different cities, different countries. Um, I'm always on the road. So I have right now a couple of residencies. Well, right now I'm in Atlantic City every Wednesday. Um, and then in the summer I start at the party block in Ocean City on every Monday. How's other than that, that scene? On the, road. Uh, the scene like on the road? No, like at the party block in Ocean City. Um, um, it, well, Mondays are really good. It's their night. They have Mr. Green Jeans every Monday. Okay. Um, I think it's more of their like, you know, industry type of night. I'm not okay. sure. But so it's, it's not it's a bunch of good. crazy drunk girls in bikinis? No, 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 not that <laughs> night. No, but it's it, I mean, it's your typical club, you know, yeah. but it's always a good night. It's the same scene everywhere. Well, I was going to ask, eyes. when she asked about the Ocean City scene, I want to know, what's it like in Atlantic City? I mean, is it just a tidal wave of, like, guidos and stuff with it, the weird smeared <laughs> up is. here and all that? You have a lot of that, yeah. It's, um, it's a whole, you know, out there it's kind of a different game. It's more... You know, you get it's a, it's a tourist town, so you really yeah. get people from all over. But Jersey people definitely stick out. Least favorite place to DJ? Where do you just go one and done? You're like I'm never going back there. Bowie, f that place. <laughs> never going back. Um, you know, every place is is one in its own. I you know, because most of the time I do just I, I show up. I've never been there before. It's it's a new club. Um, I find things that I like about every place. It's really not necessarily the place that I hate because it's cool DJing different places and it's having different kind of crowd. It's when you have a bad experience with like, let's say the person that books you or brings you in or, you know, they don't take care of you or they just, you know, whatever, like, uh, you know, if you have an issue with a crowd, somebody in the crowd or something, that's when you're like, ugh. But to be honest, as much as I DJ, that may happen 1% out of the 100. Okay. It really is rare. You know, I, I love what I do. So even if it's, even if the crowd, it isn't a big crowd or something, you know, you you love what you do, then you make it a party. And does it drive you nuts as a, as a DJ, a professional DJ, known coast to coast, you tour internationally, you know what you're doing up there on the wheels of steel, mm -hmm. on the ones and twos, you've got a mix ready to go. When you've got some drunk towson it -esque girl, it's like, Sc do some Katy Perry, excuse me, <laughs> do some, oh, let me get sick, do some Perry. <laughs> <laughs> we know those types, yeah. Does it drive most, you nuts? It does, most DJs, um, all DJs almost, I think, feel like, you know, they hate requests just because you know it's our job to know how to read the crowd and to know how to take it from one place to another and, and not to mention I'm not gonna walk in there and play the hot thing a hot song of the night right off the bat like I'm gonna play it at the right time to play it and some people don't understand that now when I do my residencies where I'm there every week 
then yeah, give me a request, who cares? But when I'm coming in as a guest DJ, I'm doing a two hour showcase spot, like let me do what I do. And I guarantee you, I'll play your song at some point probably if it's a hot song, but let me do it when I think it's the right time to do it, you know? So it's, it gets annoying, but you know, what do you, you it kind of goes with it. It goes with the territory, yeah. Now, is it former Playboy model, now successful DJ, but we were talking before the show, and you were telling me something interesting. You're really trying to uh, shine a light on women in the industry mm -hmm. and, you know, get away from some of the stereotypes mm -hmm. of, you know, as, as Pele pointed out, it's, it's a man's world in DJing, and you're trying to break through that. What are some of the difficulties you find when you show up at these gigs and they see, uh, you know, a petite, cute woman? Do yeah. they not treat you with the same, uh, you know, respect and couth as they would a guy? I think when they initially book me, they expect, you know, boobs, the look, just a pretty girl up there. She's just gonna pretend to Thank do what God she you're does. Boobs. Yeah, but I mean, it goes with it. I mean, they just they expect the look. They just want the look of it. They don't expect me to come in and have the skill to go with it. So what do you, stop looking what do you at me like that. I'm looking at you right in the eyes. <laughs> you're creeping me out right now. Just staring at you. <laughs> That's pretty standard. Now, what do you what do you wear? Do you? Doll up and everything. You know, it's. I wish I could DJ in a hoodie and sweatpants. I can't wait for that day. But I mean, in all actuality, I will never get there. I don't think because, you know, being a female, they do expect certain things. So, I would like to say on behalf of audience members, I don't ever see you get there. Yeah. Right, you show up in a pair. You show up in a pair of gray it. sweatpants that you bought with camel bucks. I know, right? You're not gonna hop behind the DJ station. And I and I get that. I I get it. So you know, I give the crowd what they want. I give the person who's booking me what they want in regards to that look. But on my end of things, I come in, I kill it, I do what I do, and I, I prove to them, look, I'm not just a, a pretty face standing back here pretending, like, I actually know what I'm doing too. And, you know, they expect me to come in, somebody carry my bag, nobody carry, you know, somebody carry my turntable. I was like, no, like, I do it all. There's no difference between me and that dude. Like, mm -hmm. I wanna go out there and, and do everything to, I, I run all turntables, so I'm not putting in a mix CD, I'm not, you know, there's no pretending. It is straight mixing, old school style, you know, it's, it's, I use, I, like I said, I use turntables with Serato and all that stuff, so, and I'm also a video DJ. You're like so in a trance, Justin. I'm are just you, loving it. She like just wears so love? many hats. I mean, she's beautiful to look at, extremely <laughs> conversational, intelligent, and she can get up there and wicky 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 type <laughs> action. Can you actually do that with the classic vinyl, just <laughs> type scratching records and things? Yeah, I'm still, I mean, as far as, you know, there's a bunch of different scratches to learn, okay. and I'm not as advanced as plenty of the DJs out there. I mean, there's DJs that, can blow your mind, but uh, but I definitely I get there. So and I'm still learning. By all means, there's so much to learn in this game, and I'll forever be learning. You ever think of maybe uh, doing original music by any chance? I have. I'm actually um, in talks with some people right now. I'm, I'm maybe making a few stops in New York and, and getting with a producer and start mm -hmm. producing my own tracks. Um, that's definitely the next step, and that's what has been taking a lot of DJs to the next level. So that's definitely the direction that I'd like to head. So hopefully more to come on that. Where can people find you online? Uh, Facebook, DJ KJ. Uh, I have my own site. It's not completely finished yet, but DJKJ.com, and it's K-A-Y-J-A-Y. -A -Y. Um, bookings, I have a booking agent, Mike Esterman. You can go to Esterman.com and book me there. Awesome. So. DJ KJ, thank you so much. Thank it's you. 98 Rock TV. Stick around. <laughs>